In one report, they're announcing that China is going to have over 372 Navy vessels ready for combat by the year 2020. And in this report, which I just published at my associate's website, China develops or deploys over 1,500 missiles capable of hitting U.S. bases. According to the Express UK, the bases in Okinawa, Taiwan are within range of the missiles as relations between the two superpowers continue to decline. Yes, by the way, Donald Trump calls the upcoming meeting awkward with Chinese leadership. In January, China revealed a war with the U.S. is now, quote, a practical reality as military officials prepare to retaliate um, decisively to any of Trump's new policies that they consider to be a threat. Well, I guess one of the things that is going to be on the table is um, the U.S.-China trade policy, I guess, at this upcoming meeting. Taiwan's defense minister has confirmed the deployment of the DF-16 missiles, which are capable of striking precise locations more than 1,000 kilometers away. Well, it's actually interesting because Donald Trump has authorized a $1 billion arms deal to Taiwan. How about we just stop arming the world? How about war becomes much less profitable, profitable, perhaps in a in a future lifetime for some of us in a in a galaxy far, far away? Because this is a very psychotic, insane asylum where these types of things are going on, and it's out in the open. War is business, and business is very, very good. On Monday, uh, lawmakers were told that the development comes as China strengthens its weapons. Uh, and modernization uh, modernizes its military and hard power. Lawmakers in Taiwan. 1,500 missiles aimed at U.S. bases. Now, you are hearing this at the heels of uh, what North Korea is allegedly working on. Missiles that are capable of striking the U.S. mainland. Oh, yes, this is this is all after, by the way, Red Dawn. Red Dawn, the Hollywood movie. North Korea, the enemy. China twisted the arm of North Korea. Or rather, um, the Hollywood production company, whether it was Warner Brothers or another, that was behind the production of Red Dawn. China told Hollywood, you know, you're not going to have your films in China, and perhaps I'm sure other things were going on. Now we see that China is throwing its money at Hollywood. China has major clout in Hollywood today. So isn't that interesting? That China forced the Hollywood company to make North Korea the villain. You know, to take out China, to change the plot after they already filmed it. After they already filmed it. Now, that's a movie. This is real life. And I want you to ask yourself, you know, in, in a world of so many different movies, you know, a world of, of so many different imaginations, rather, capable of, of creating so many different plots and so many different um, scenarios. Have you ever asked yourself why you don't see compelling movies that are like about reality, you know, and about how it really could go down and why, you know, you kind of see things that almost tend to dance around the whole scenario of the shit hitting the fan, but it's something ridiculous. There's like a monster alien, and it's like a recreation of War of the Worlds. I'm trying to remember the name of that movie that I saw recently that it was almost exactly like War of the Worlds, only to feature a woman who was kidnapped by, guess who? A prepper. That's right. A prepper kidnaps a woman. She escapes because she begins to think that this guy is crazy and that there are no aliens outside. Though, So... You know, she decides she's not going to be his bitch. She decides she's not going to be his slave. That damn crazy prepper. What are you prepping for, crazy man? And then she finally, like, gets out there and, um, yeah, <laughs> aliens are there. <laughs> They're sucking up all types of shit. And in the end, what does she do? She, uh, because she's ex-military and she's a tough, hot chick, she joins the human resistance. So it's like there are movies out there where there are war scenarios and people are running, people are shooting, you know, people are eating, eating MREs, you know, there's a little bit of sexual tension. It's just crazy. But it's like it's like twisted. It's not like real reality. 
it's like twisted over here, you know, just, just like they have the shoot 'em up games. You know, you're you're shooting the aliens at Area 51. But see, there's also an element of reality that they're also bringing into the video games and some of the movies very subtly. Take a look at the video games that they have been programming these kids worldwide, not just our kids, but the kids in China. World at War, Call of Duty, shoot them up, just destroyed cities. There's a video game that I wrote about not too long ago where a robot is, a monster robot basically, is destroying the city. We talk about these different, you know, Project Blue Beam, also Alien False Flags, in addition to real world terrorist false flags as we just see the whole situation with Russia and that video by the way that I uploaded that brief report it was demonetized several times because I mentioned oh I mentioned the I word better not mention it here the uh, the YouTube Google uh, bots will seize on that ladies and gentlemen this isn't looking good not only in the war situation but the censorship issue you know, the rate at which they are demonetizing the independent voice as we ramp up for world war. They want to starve us, literally. And that's the beginning before the real fireworks begin is to literally starve us down to a point of weakness. We have um, CNBC. Over here, by the way. World War III nightmare scenario. That's that's the exact language that they're using. Mainstream media is announcing that we are faced with a World War III nightmare scenario in the East China Sea. How many people are going to be paying attention to this when they're playing their, their gosh darn video games and they're eating their Cheetos and they're making a mess and they're just sitting there like some sort of a zombie robot you know, just desensitized to these types of policy. Oh, it's just like a video game. It's just like Call of Duty. Wow, man. It's just like World at War. Or whatever, whatever other crap. World of Tanks. And many observers, really, uh, that know that are familiar with the background information to this and aren't into the left-right paradigm and aren't fooling themselves. They know where this can go. They know this can lead to the U.S. mainland. They know this war could wage right here on American soil. They put all this focus on Israel, 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 and what happens to Israel. And they've literally taken Americans' attention away from what could happen here, and they've brainwashed Americans into thinking that we are not defeatable, that we are undefeatable, that we will continue to defeat everyone. They don't realize that our country's been set up. There's not an accident for our debt. There's not an accident that China has a monopoly on the, uh, the manufacturing of technology that the military needs. This is deliberate. And this is going to lead into a nightmarish scenario. Okay, when a country isn't able to finance its own wars and it's it's launching war after war, it's by design for China to walk straight up into this country along with the Russians. That's a nightmarish scenario when people start disappearing. When women have to hide their beauty because it is on. And I've talked about this for years into the podcast. I will be known if these things come to pass as the only man in the alternative media that brought up the human trafficking element of the post-war scenario. All right, let's read directly from CNN's or CNBC's report. Well, the world watches mounting military tensions in the South China Sea. Another more ominous situation is brewing in the East China Sea. That could be the trigger point for a major war between the superpowers. At the heart of the tensions are eight inhabited islands, controlled by Japan that are close to important shipping lanes, rich fishing grounds, and potential oil and gas reserves. China contests Japanese claims and is escalating its military activity in Japan airspace. In response, Japan has been doubling its F-15 jet intercepts. And I've been doing a lot of reporting on that, uh, along with uh, 
some of the drills that China's been involved in, you know, just flying their fighter jets in the direction of Japan and then turning around, you know, just scaring the shit out of them. <laughs> just a drill. And then Taiwan launches their drill where they, they literally drill for a Chinese invasion. I don't know how Taiwan could really protect itself on its own without the United States getting involved or other countries getting involved. Look at these trigger points. Taiwan, right? NATO on Russia's border with U.S. troops being sent in that direction. More U.S. troops in the Middle East. We have the situation in Mosul. We have this whole uh, allegation that the Iranian Navy, you know, came swinging at the, at the U.S. Navy. War drums building. War with Iran. And then we look at North Korea. Trump saying to China, if you're not going to do something about, you know, little fat man, you know, his dad as seen on uh, Team America. America, fuck yeah. Either you're going to do something about it or we're going to do something about it. It's a play, ladies and gentlemen. All the world's a stage. They're fucking with us. They've, they've worked this out. Things are going to go down. See, the elite are going to wine and dine and screw the same hooker while they send man and woman against man and woman. You may not agree with the content that I put out. It's one thing you could say about Alex Hansen in the end. The man was consistent, and he did not back down with his warning since 2008. Staged manage World War III, where the victor has already been decided, and China, Russia, and the United States go into a new world order and transhumanism goes to the next level, and the self-driving cars are rolled out. You know, I, I could continue to go on and on about all these missiles, but I'm just going to end this here. Things are definitely mounting, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. If you appreciate my reporting, please visit alexhansry.tv slash donate.